Hey what's going on guys, in this video I'm going to show you a that simple way of how you can store the output of your Scrapey Spider to CSV or JSON file or whatever form is supported by the Scrapey itself. So I'll be using this experimental Python development environment that I've created for you guys to be able to follow this tutorial completely in browser and also at the end of this video I'll show you exactly the same steps on the local Linux Mint environment so you'll understand actually what's going on under, under the hood. So let's actually start uh, implementing uh, our code. So first let's grab uh, this uh, kind of example snippet code from Scrapey documentation and just paste it right over here. So just run, uh, try to run the code, nothing happens because we didn't uh, yet specify the crawler process so in order to uh, be able running this code from, uh, from within the Python script we need to say simply from scrapey.crawler uh, import Crawler process, and then we simply need to create the instance of Crawler process. So I say process equals Crawler process, and then process dot crawl and the name of our spider. So in our case, this is quote spider. So let me just grab this name quickly and paste it here and then simply say process the start so this is this regards the run spider logic preserved if I just execute the code by uh, pressing control shift enter all this run button uh, in below we see the output of uh, our program here so we see that our data has been successfully yielded to the output but this didn't yet store anything so let's let me just uh, duplicate this uh, editor here and uh, i'll just show you the local file system uh, on this remote server so i need to say simply from hack import all i've created this little hack library to uh, forward basic linux command to this python environment and here i can simply say alas and to see the file system so here here are our files so uh, here we will see the source csv file uh, the file that would be generated from from this kind of spider so in order to do that we need to define what is known as the custom settings so i say custom settings here and the custom settings is the type of Python dictionary. And here we need to specify uh, a couple of parameters. So the first one would be called the fit uh, format. And here uh, we'll specify, well, let's start with the CSV basically. And also the fit URI. And this would be the file name that the scraper is supposed to write data to. So let's call this quotes.csv. And I just run this code one more time. Okay, so just let's let's see if the quotes.csv file has been created or not. So here we see that quotes.csv has been created. Now let's have a look at what's going on in that file. So if we just if we simply say cat quotes.csv. Well, in this case, we see that the CSV file has been actually written successfully. That's kind of it. Now let's try to play around with some of some of the other formats. So let's try JSON here. So this would be the file called quotes.json. And I just run it one more time. And now let's see quotes.json file instead. So here we have our file in the JSON format. And also let's try to do the same using the XML format as well. So XML quotes.xml just run again. Okay. And here quotes.xml. So here we have the XML version of our uh, output data. And now let me just quickly show you absolutely the same in, at my local environment. So just quickly grab the code and now go to the videos desktop basically and I'll use this this kind of file so save and just open my uh, terminal here in the current working directory so uh, you can see that this is the current working directory so so the files stored would be uh, enabled uh, available over there as well so okay we're starting with the XML so we can simply say sorry Python 3 and uh, 
spider dot pi and run and okay so now we have quotes xml this is it okay and now let's try to alter the code so we would be storing the in the json format okay so just run this one more time okay so now we have quotes json okay and finally let's store this to csv so csv here and save and run and here we've just created the quotes.csv file well okay guys so this is it for this video i hope you learned something interesting out of this and this is from my site so until next time and take care